Some of the oldest blowtorches use gasoline and are called blow lamps. At least I call them blow lamps. Of course, it's just a regional word. But they're pretty big. It's like it's like a huge mug of gasoline. Not that easy to take around. So I got this. This is an old little compact one, I think from the 1960s or so. I believe this is from the 1930s or 40s. And yeah, it looks promising if it can work. But unfortunately, it looks like the seals have blown out on here. Now, yesterday, in preparation for this video, I actually took the little pump mechanism off of this one and jammed it onto here, and it did kind of work. So, it looks like it is just an issue with this. When this is tightened down, it holds this onto there, so it's an interesting design. Inside is a little plunger, piston, whatever you want to call it. This one's kind of a little roughed up and old, but it's not cracked or anything. So if I put some oil on here, that should work perfectly fine. So that's pretty good. Then we also have this seal. But if all this fails, I can just throw some Teflon tape in there. But then we have the one-way valve right in there. I believe this is where most of the issues are coming from because there's just not enough contact on there to keep a seal. It's all cracked and gone. This comes out. Okay. So I have some leather that I think I can cut a little piece off and maybe use that inside of here. I'm not sure what this even is. Might be a rubber type compound. It does look like a rubber, so maybe I should replace it with a rubber material. If I press this on here, I might put a good little circle on there. Oh yeah, so now I can cut around that. Perfect. Let's see if we can get any pressure on this, just from how it is now. Oh, yep. Yeah, it is definitely is spitting some gasoline out, so that's promising. It's not holding the pressure, though, so that's unfortunate. I have a secret weapon. Teflon tape. I was also having an issue with this. Oh, I think some tape could help this also. Hmm. Well, I guess the next thing to do is to see about oiling the little piston part. It seems like it has a good contact, but it could deal with it a little bit more, I think. I have this thing of oil that I found like years ago. I'm not really sure why I have it, but oh well. Some fancy oil, it's 10W60. Not sure what that means, but I guess. Oh, yeah, that's sticking a lot better already. Nice. That means that that. One-way valve is not working properly. You know, I wonder if adding a little bit of oil can help with that. That's better. Now, this is one issue with this. There's a really tiny hole. You could definitely use the funnel. And the wind is not helping. Oh, there we go. It's working. So the key now is to pump it up and then... Yeah, that is unfortunate that it comes out, but it still is working. You open it just slightly so it doesn't shoot the gas out. It just kind of pulls up. He's coming down. So now that we have fuel in there, we can light it. Like so. It's really windy today.
This isn't the, gra the best thing to do on a windy day. Ah, shit. I'm thinking there might be an issue with the leak around here because it looks like there's some damage there and it also looks like this is maybe hit right here and bent this entire thing down so this might be worthy of doing an entire teardown and inspection of so it'd be kind of cool see these are supposed to work like you pump it up so we can shoot the fuel out you do just enough so it doesn't shoot the fuel out but it drips on the inside this one has plenty of pressure, so it does it great. Then whenever you have enough in there, you go... Like that. You want to make sure you keep rotating it so the wind doesn't blow it away from the part you want to heat. Whoops. Wow. Test it. Nope, oh, working now. Not as difficult as the other one. Yeah, so with this one you can even like cook food with it because it's such a clean flame, not like the other one. So I'm thinking there is probably an, an issue with something else on here. And just as a little tip before I forget to say this, whenever you shut one of these down, always open it up a little bit and release the air because otherwise it contracts and so the metal contracts around this piece which is usually cooler and so it's usually really hard once it cools down so it's hard to undo so that's usually a good idea but I guess, I guess if not you can just heat it up again and then it'll be fine it'd be really nice to be able to get this little blow lamp to work as well as the bigger older ones because it's just it's it's so neat and tiny and narrow I'm pretty sure it can work like that though. It's interesting that some of these I've seen have, well they have this pointed shape. Some even have a more pointed shape of the actual thing, but this one's actually like parallel. The walls of the fire chamber are actually parallel. I found that interesting. I wonder, the, I wonder how that happens to affect like the stability or the speed of the flame or something. Well guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!